This video will outline troubleshooting of the fuel injectors and circuit for the MXV engine fuel injection system, including error codes, use of the FI Diag tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The fuel injector is an electromechanical solenoid that controls the flow of gasoline into the intake track. The fuel injector gets battery voltage from the fuel ignition fuse, and the ground side is controlled by the ECU. The injector contains a coil of wire wrapped around an iron pentel, which is spring-loaded to close the injector. When current flows through the coil, it creates a magnetic field, which pulls the pentel up and allows the gasoline to spray into the engine. The fuel injectors receive battery voltage from the fuel ignition fuse, and the ECU controls the ground side to turn the injector on or off. When the main switch is turned on, the ECU checks for voltage on the blue-white wire from the number 2 injector and the green-white wire from the number 1 injector. If there's no power on the circuit, the wire is open or shorted to ground between the injector and the ECU, there will be no or very low voltage. The ECU would set error code P0201 for number one cylinder or P0202 for injector number two. Remember, cylinder number one is the higher cylinder and cylinder number two is the lower cylinder as the engine is normally mounted. When the ECU closes the circuit to open the fuel injector, a magnetic field is created which pulls the metal pintle inside the injector up. When the ECU opens the circuit, the flow of current stops, the magnetic field collapses, and the spring pushes the pintle back down to stop the fuel. As the magnetic field collapses, it induces voltage back into the coil itself. This is called self-induction, the same way the primary circuit on an ignition coil works. This creates a very short duration voltage spike commonly called flyback voltage or inductive kick. A quick method to test the entire injector circuit is to measure the inductive kick at the ECU multi-connector, even if the engine will not start. Back probe the blue-white wire to ground and the green-white wire to ground with a peak reading voltmeter and crank or run the engine. No start cranking and idle, you should see 55 to 60 peak volts A standard voltmeter will not work. It must be a peak reading voltmeter or a peak reading voltage adapter. Peak reading adapters for your voltmeter are pretty inexpensive and can be used to test injectors, the primary winding of ignition coils, the crank position sensor, and charging systems. You can find this adapter for less than $30 from any tool suppliers or internet sites. If you get the proper inductive kick, you know the injector is getting good battery voltage, the injector coil itself is good, and the ground circuit through the ECU is good. If the inductive kick is low, follow the service manual to inspect the components and circuit, testing for good battery voltage to the injector, and that the signal wire does not have excessive resistance to the ECU. The manual lists the resistance spec for the injector coil, but the inductive kick test is a much better test. Be sure to watch all the other fuel injection system videos and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.